Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an updated guide for the Amazon, well, Storm slash Hammerzon. Um, so yeah, just to go over some quick basic things. Remember, I did have a previous video if you wanted to check that out. This has no sacred gear, meaning that pretty much anyone can acquire the gear I have. Solo self found, basic budget. Uh, I will have to create another one later, but anyway, let's start with it. Your stat scaling, super simple. Put enough strength for gear. What that amount is, I don't know. That depends on what charms you have and everything else. Uh, I need about 500 strength or so to use the gear that I'm using now. Maybe like, uh, maybe even 400. It really depends. Dex, uh, I put the rest of my points in a dexterity to get block chance. I did fuck my build over a bit and I actually um, used magic find on a lot of my gear. I have about 150 magic find. I'm actually not happy with that because I should have put block speed recovery because since we have 300k evasion, we block most of, well, most attacks don't hit us, but the ones that do hit us or we block, I don't know exactly how the formula works, we get fucked by our block animation, which actually is bad because it kind of is like you're getting stun locked, but you're getting block locked. So if you are getting into the point where you're scaling decks, make sure you use the, uh, whatever they're called, augmentation things to put uh, block speed on your gear. Next up, Vitality, zero points. Uh, all of your Vitality scaling will come from Paragon. Maybe we'll respec in the Spirit of Vengeance, but that's not really the case right now. This 3,700 Vitality literally comes all from Paragon. Energy I didn't touch. As for your skill tree, uh, I use Thundercrack to level through pretty much the entire game. When I got to Hell, that's kind of when I stopped using Thundercrack. I felt like the damage fell off, and especially with getting block animation locked all the time, uh, it just does not really feel good. There is an endgame weapon I'm going to try to get, which may fix that, but that's not really for now. Uh, I put a ton of points into Wild and Free. It's movement speed, it's hit recovery. You kind of stop when you decide to. Um, balance, always capped. Balance gives you as much defense as a shield, and our shield actually gives us about 100k defense. Uh, next up, one point into pretty much everything. We are using Hammer now as our main skill, even though I have one point into it. Um, it still is crazy, crazy good. I may end up dumping more points into it, but honestly, right now, it's because it's scaling up weapon damage, it's totally fine. But we've got respects to mess around with some things. The reason why I maxed out Thundercrack as well, even though I don't use it, is because it gives us percentage defense via Asterism. So this is very good. This is another max skill. It's a passive. Uh, I have also maxed out Defense of Harmony. I don't know if this skill is bugged or not. I swear I can never see it working, and I, it should work, but I don't know. It's kind of difficult to really understand. Uh, as for here, max out Paragon. It's base HP. I went one point into Spellbind. It's kind of difficult to use this because in the time it takes to use this on scary things, I feel like I die. Unless it's a boss, then it's a lot easier to do. Uh, and then I put one point into War Spirit, but I can't really tell how that works either. Okay, as for your gear, uh, it's super simple to level. Uh, you use a Dream Swayer, you craft this at the beginning. If you don't know how to craft gear, go read the Median XL website. Don't type in the comments, go read the D D2 Median XL website. And one more time for the people who are a bit slow, go read the D2 Median XL website. It explains everything. All right, so after you've crafted that, you're pretty much set to go. Uh, when you need another huge damage boost, you're gonna go ahead and make this helmet. It's basically jaw in your helmet. It gives you a ton of flat lightning and attack speed. That will carry you so far just between these two. Uh, we are using a set shield essentially because it gives a ton, a ton of defense. Um, I'm using lion paws as my boots. I'm using feather claw as my gloves. I would try to get a Dreamcatcher amulet because it gives all skills and cast speed. And you are going to swap from using attack speed to cast speed later. Uh, since your hammer, which is this skill right here, scales off your cast speed. Your thunder, whatever the fuck is, is attack speed, but we're not using that anymore. And then your other single target, which is your magnetic field, is cast speed. Uh, then I'm basically just using plus one all skills rings with whatever stats I can find. And I'm using a Deadfall Belt, which actually is not necessarily too good. Um, I've just got Resistance here in my shield. These are Magic Find Jewels. Uh, this is just Percentage Max Vitality to scale our Vitality. Same thing with here, same thing with here, and same thing with here. Um, and then I've got uh, Skulls in the weapon for... Uh, I think it's like percentage IPD or something. Anyway, let's go ahead and start. You can see all the charms I farmed from the Ubers, basically. Uh, one other cool thing to note is even though 
Hammer is a spell. Hammer scales off weapon damage and allows you to leech. For some reason, Magnetic Field is a spell, scales off weapon damage, does not allow you to leech. So Hammer is very good for kiting, but let's get started. Oh yeah, also use Bloodlust, your innate, your innate skill, to uh, give you some extra damage. Now, I haven't actually cleared this act yet, so I figured I'd show you guys how it plays on Diablo in Hell. I don't think he's really too strong, but it's still some content, right? Ooh, a Tarje. I don't even know what just hit me. I think it's that fire skill there. I think that fire boulder just popped me instantly. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but uh, we're sitting at capped fire res and 12k HP and I got insta-boomed. That's kind of just how Median XL is though. Median XL is pretty much like dodge the pixels or else they one-shot you. That was like right here, right? I don't know who made the boulders. Okay. That's that's poison though. That one I can kind of see. Okay, Magda. Where, where the? Ooh. Where's he at? There. I think he's. Did we get him? He's like a. What is this boss? <laughs> this boss is like cancer. <laughs> ah, okay, we got him. There we go. Don't know what that's for, but we killed them. So there we go. I'm just gonna put some more on. Thanks for the host, you know, we're making a quick video. Okay. That's already summoned. Now, uh, Magnetic Field is superior to Hammer Skill uh, for single target, especially because you can like preemptively stack it and then switch. And Hammer, at least with our current gear, is not that good for a single target reach. Oh, here's Gum. You guys remember this guy? Come here, Gum. Oh, Fire Boulder. I learned my lesson. We don't stand next to Fire Boulders. Okay, I stood in a Fire Boulder. Like, can you move out of there, please? He doesn't want to move. Okay, okay now, okay. Can we, like, not do this? Come on, buddy. Is he dead yet? 
How are you not dead? How are you not dead? All right. Let's go grab that quest item in a second, but Diablo should be spawning here any second. So let's just stack up some uh, some nice lightning on the floor here. Not even death can save you from me. Oh, Diablo is tanky now. Wow. I may have to go grab some mana potions. I guess we can hammer spam him. See, the, the other problem that kind of sucks about hammer is if a target is on an edge, if your hammer collides with a wall, it just dies. Which is really shit for bosses that just like hug walls like this. It's really good for magnetic field, it's really bad for hammer. You can see magnetic field completely like eating him right there. Okay, so I did get Key of Sin, that's a quest item. Um, ancient shards, nice. Okay, so this act is cleared. Okay, now I want to show you guys some other fun content. So I'm going to go to Act 1 Hell here. Because in Act 1... Let me go get some potions. I can show you guys the cows. And cows are a beautiful place to level. And whereas I don't really necessarily okay. like this character's clear, I don't really know how other builds clear, when you get swarmed by melee mobs, it makes it feel beautiful. Oh, that is not what I meant to buy. Uh, okay, so while we're here, I'll show you guys a quick snapshotting trick if you're unaware. So my belt requires 400 strength, and I can't I can put it on. And if you have a belt that gives you strength, you actually can't swap them like that. It has to be another piece of gear. So for example, I have uh, these gloves that I crafted that just give 40 strength, so I can pop them on, put the belt on, and pop them back. If you guys are curious on snapshotting. Now, when you join a next game, though, it's not going to work. Every time you join a game, it basically, like, unequips your gear and re-equips it. So you will have to do that every single time you recreate a game once you start. But that's it. Even if you die, you'll still keep it. So it's fine. Well, as you guys saw from the death. Okay. Let's go to Akara. Grab some potions. Also, for my chest piece, I used Geed's... Is it Geed? No, I forgot. The dude the dude at um, uh, when you save Deckard Kane drops a chess piece. I pretty much used that chess piece the whole game up until I made a Queen of Glass. Uh, Queen of Glass is really good because it's minus 20 to enemy elemental resistance. Has pretty good armor on it and gives a ton of mana, which is so good for spamming your uh, magnetic field. Griswold, thank you. That's what it is. All right, so let's go do cows. I still don't know what this purple buff is. I swear the purple buff is the slow, but the purple only applies when I use lightning strike. So Ritz leg is always located right over here to the left. There we go. Let's go get Miss Andariel, who's actually really mad. Okay, she's dead. Okay, so what do we have here? Regular, regular, regular. Okay, no sacred. That's not sacred. That's not sacred. So let us just cube those up. Thank you very much. All right, into cows we go. Now, um, I don't have any physical resistance really or magical resistance, so you will occasionally see my character get bursted and die. And that's just because, like I said, we're still using, we don't have any uh, ancient pieces, we're still just using, or sacred. We're just using basic gear for the most part. 
Oh, we're actually tanking Cow King too while we're doing this. With uh, Amplify on our head for minus Fizz Res. Forehead. So I found an ancient armor, but it's not ancient. Thinking? Oh, I found I found this one. Well. Alright, Cow King. You wanna stand still for a second? No, he's not gonna let us. He won't let us stack on him. I'm gonna try to get a big like stack of cows for you guys. I might die doing this, but it's fun. So here we go. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice, nice stack of cows. Found a rare amulet. Where's that at? Is that back here? Here we go. Give me that. Face tank. I think the cow summoners do magical damage, which is what's hurting me, but I could be wrong. Pretty much clears that. I can show you guys the real Cow King, but I'm probably gonna get fucked because I don't know what damage type he does. Did I kill him up here? Here we go, Ritz other leg. I can attempt him for you guys, but this may not work out very well. Let's see. Uh, ooh, ooh, let me go grab some mana potions really quickly. to here click open ritz other leg all right here we go buff one buff two so what i've noticed for this guy i've only fought him one time my my strategy has been to just pretty much stand still and stack this skill and wait for him to find me or i guess i have to like initiate the fight first maybe here we go okay let me debuff him if i can i think i got him with the debuff not sure Just try to stay behind the wall so the cows don't fuck you in the face. Okay, let's debuff him again. There we go. Oh shit, I'm using hammer. Wrong skill. Wrong skill. There we go. Oh, he interrupted that? Damn. See, I don't I don't know what that push is. That push does, like, so much. I'm guessing it's magical. It could just be physical, because, like I said, we don't have much of uh, the other res. 
Where is she at? Right over here. And down he goes. Let me see if that was an upgrade, actually. Where's Fool's Gold? 20, 14, 22, 20 total defense, 13, 17 magic find. 8, 20. That's 20 magic find, though, but it's only 8 strength. I don't know. Hard to tell. I think I like this one more. with this one anyway that's pretty much going to be it for this video uh if you guys are curious i'm just going to go ahead and pop up and show you uh two of the end game things that i have found on the website uh so if you look at tiered uniques and you type in skin i think it's called skin of cabraxis no okay well i know it's under 300 percent for sure okay so no what Am I, oh, did I go to tiered uniques? Whoopsies. Sacred uniques. Sorry. Sacred uniques. Skin of Cabraxis. So this is a chess piece we're going to be hunting for. This chess piece is beyond stupid. It gives us 300% weapon physical damage if wielding a scepter. Um, it also gives plus one scepter mastery. Not sure what that is. It does give us fizz resist and ridiculous defenses. So this is a huge upgrade if we can find it. Another one is if we look at Amazon scepters, or our scepters here, type in Amazon, our goal is to get a Battle Maiden. Battle Maiden literally gives us, so look at the top end. The top end is 370 to 456. Our weapon fully maxed out, top end's at 182. This weapon also has cast speed and attack speed to help us hit our breakpoints. Also has double leech, 4% enhanced weapon damage per level. At level 100, that's 400%. And 4 max fire So these, those are going to be two of the goals to get. Actually, I would love to trade for the chess piece, dude. Anyway, that's pretty much going to be about it. Remember, if you're confused, if you're stuck, if you don't know what to do, check the website. It has everything. Cube recipes, tiered uniques, sacred uniques, rune words, sets, gems and items, base items, how to create the uniques. Everything's posted on here. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Hope you guys have a lot of fun with the build. Remember, deaths are going to happen in this game. There's a lot of deaths to occur. Median XL is based around deaths. Uh, basically, you have to repeat until you learn the strategy. Once you learn the strategy, you'll be okay. So anyway, have a wonderful time, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. But don't forget, if you like the video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you can catch me streaming every day at twitch.tv slash pox. I don't remember if I said that or not, but have a wonderful time, boys.